Hey everybody, it's Steven Get Money Mike here. In today's video, I'm doing an update on our free to play account. There's a few pieces of information I want to cover, as well as the fact that Aspen Dungeon is open for the very first time. So I am very curious to see how this goes. Could be a very short video, could be that we are just fine at doing the first levels of Aspen Dungeon. I literally have no idea whatsoever what to expect. But before I go any further, I did want to say that if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. We're getting close to 2,000 subscribers, so it'd be awesome if you could help me get there. With that being said, let's give our update. So, the chapter system is great. I love the chapter system. It helps you get a Garuda early. I will say there's a brief period of time from when you're trying to get from like level 100 to level 140 on your Garuda where it is brutal. Uh, it is not good. It is not fun. And I will say that uh, it worked out very well that the exploration plan, uh, sorry, the Sky Labyrinth was actually going on right now. Uh, the Sky Labyrinth helped me get a lot of spirit and some gold uh, in order to get that Garuda up to level 140, which is one of the requirements you need in Chapter 10. Uh, and then you need to get these four heroes to level 100. So it is a constant struggle right now for gold and spirit, I say as I uh, have enough right now. But I don't have enough gold you can see and my pets i haven't even been able to touch my pet because i'm just always out of gold and i really don't remember having this problem when i started playing three years ago i think what's going on is they have given too many uh five star heroes uh early on uh, you can see i'm already sitting on what 13 five star heroes and i've only been playing for about three days or so i felt like it took me like a month or two to get six five-star heroes i could be completely mistaken uh and so obviously the resources to evolve those five-star heroes are very different you know i i remember using four-star heroes on my teams i remember trying to figure out which, which best four-star heroes there were so this issue of having gold already right when you're starting it just feels terrible and obviously it is an idle game and obviously they don't want you to power through but it is just interesting that they give you like all these resources now with the chapter system yeah, there are just things that are completely imbalanced because like the tavern system, for example, is still the same, even though I'm a free to play account and I'm low level, but then stuff like the wishing fountain, super low goal count, right? It's just not worth like doing it uh, at all. And it just makes for these inequalities when you're trying to level up your heroes and it doesn't feel good. Uh, obviously, again, idle game, they want you to be patient, they don't want you to have everything right away, but it does feel bad the fact that I literally just can't even level up my monster at all because I'm out of gold. Uh, getting this hand of Midas, like paying gems for 144,000 gold sounds completely terrible, like not anything I'm remotely interested in doing. And my Celestial Island here, what's going on with it actually? I uh, don't have gold to upgrade it, don't have you know, stuff to upgrade this. It's just, it's rough, honestly. Um, and getting that gold is tough. And so it's just weird that that's still a problem early on the game. Cause I know like my memory at least is like, I did not have gold issues until I was like a year and a half into the game, uh, being like a VIP five ish range. Uh, it just wasn't an issue that came up until all of a sudden I ran out and then I was out of it for all the time. Whereas this is just immediately I'm having gold issues right away as a free-to-play account so we're doing well our guild is at 19 out of 20 uh, a lot of the people that had applied uh, have moved on found other guilds already because they've been um, you know they were impatient obviously and that's completely reasonable that they couldn't get in uh, this guy is getting the boot sorry I hope you are not a viewer uh, but you know what I'll, I'll, I'll boot him if we get more applications basically if, if we're not having active people i'm going to give him the boot now if i'm not active sorry <laughs> sorry everybody that uh, that's my problem but uh it's the least i can do especially if other people are trying to get in we're doing a good job against the bosses here we're already on boss eight uh and in arena we're up to sixty-three thousand power huh versus the four hundred eighty-three thousand of the number one ranked player right now on the server this vn number one guild are having some fun no one lives in vn number one those are our arch enemies uh and i still have a few spots on my friends list if anybody wants to add me as a friend okay but what you came here for aspen dungeon how does it go let's make sure our heroes are equipped the best that we can uh we don't want hp but i don't know that we have the resources to upgrade Oh, well, there we go. There goes some of our gold. And we have a speed HP stone. I don't want that. 
Uh, let's put the attack on Garuda. And then we'll put the HP on Norma. And then field. <laughs> let's uh, make sure we have, let's make sure we have our best equipment on Garuda first. I think we do, but I just want to double check. But yeah, like, you, you know, I've got some pretty useful heroes, um, like getting the uh, Illyria and getting the Rosa early, but I don't have any resources to level them and do anything with. And then the Fiona, I actually spent the 8,000 gems. Uh, because of all the gems we get to get that one Fiona copy, I think she's going to be really helpful in our lineups having her, uh, as well as the Guild Coin tech, tech is just super huge uh, when you're starting out and the buffs it gives. Um, but let's see, there's four, and then who do we want? Obviously, our fifth is going to be Honor Guard. Here you go, buddy. So that is going to be our Aspen Dungeon lineup. Going in, literally, like I said, no idea what to expect. Could be a very short video. So we're going to start with who I believe our weakest character is, which is the Honor Guard, and see how easy one goes. Hmm. Huh? Looks like we will definitely be clearing with Garuda, um, no matter what. So we're just gonna like stick with Honor Guard. We'll skip the fights until we lose one, and then we'll kind of reevaluate from there. I'm not gonna use. Oh, ooh, I'm just used to having potions. It's weird to like get in and not have potions. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll use the Fiona. At full health. That's interesting. She might be pretty good. So this will be interesting to see how far one Fiona can take you uh, in easy on Aspen Dungeon. Because I just, I don't have zero memories of how Aspen Dungeon went when I, like, first started. Like, what the first stages were like. I don't remember if it was, like, even existed when I started playing. Or if they added it after I started playing. So it was just easy to get through. Easy. Uh, no pun intended. And now I'm going to just uh, do a cut here until our Fiona dies, and we'll see how far our Fiona gets. Okay, so there we go. We got our first uh, loss with Fiona there. And by first, I mean only loss, really, with Fiona uh, at level 37 easy there. Now we'll be switching to our level 100 field and seeing how field does. Field got blown out. Field did nothing. Okay, we're going to watch this fight uh, with our Norma. Norma should be pretty good because of the sustain. Oh, okay, so this is what's happening. The the CC mixed with the uh, lack of damage and the fact that there's four of them going to make it tough for Norma to do anything against that wave. So easy. Rank 37. Uh, we will not be using energy on this wave with Garuda. We're just going to see how it goes. And this energy here should be just plenty to get done. So we'll watch like one or two more fights with Garuda, just see like how easy it's going. And then we'll go from there. Obviously with the full energy, I completely expect to win this next one. Yep. And so we will just see where we can finish with Garuda now. I kind of, you know, we do have a few health potions, so I will be monitoring uh, her health to make sure that anytime it gets low, we can do it. I don't really know which waves you're supposed to use energy for. Um... Probably if we start losing health and I see a wave that's like four people, that's probably going to be the first time that I use that energy and see how it goes. Right now, we're not losing any health at all, though. Uh, so no interest in doing that right now. I assume if we get to easy 50, we'll start it there again the next time we, we launch in. Uh, so that's definitely goal number one right here is to get that easy 50. So it's going to feel pretty bad with me not watching the fights if they're actually pretty close and we, we lose right before easy 50. But so far, not taking any HP loss at all. Um, so I'm thinking we'll be fine. And go ahead here. Knock out this easy 50. Done. Okay. Achievement number one done. Uh, six star Garuda can get you to easy level 51. Now let's see how far she can get beyond that. The fact that her active, like, does so much damage and can wipe out people means she probably just really needs to just stay alive until she gets to her active uh, against a lot of these waves. This one could be interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use our milk potion, get some HP, and we're going to see how this one goes. 
So we're at 50 of energy there. We get the 100% energy. And then we don't want to have to use the energy there, but we do. Okay. So still pretty easy. Another four person one. We'll watch this one too. Two, three, four. And then get the energy on that time. No stuns, please. The fact that she recovers her health when people die. Very huge. Very helpful. Helps us so that we go into the next waves with more health. Well, I was worried that we would miss out on her losing. And unfortunately, we did. Uh, we did miss out on it. And I can't even see what wave it was. It was a light guy. Uh, we got the easy 67. Like I said, I felt bad. Maybe I should have just wasted my time and watched all the fights to figure out exactly what happened. Uh, but that is where we got to. We got the easy 67. I did want to show off, just in general, this server, what's going on. Uh, there's some power, like I said, this VN guild, this, uh, they are, they are coming to play for sure. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> this guy's having some fun. Um, but you can see they've gone to normal 10. So, uh, rank 218 with easy 66. I'm guessing with it opening up and a lot of people on the server that I may get past, and there are probably going to be some people that are able to pull out the... 100, but I don't know. It probably scales up quite a bit, and you maybe need like a, um, here, let's see if we can figure out if this person's on the leaderboard and see what they've got. So we've got Floy, Flost, Averin, Winza. Flost, Averin, Winza. Uh, okay, here's Averin. Wow. So with all that, Nine Star Garuda was only able to get like to normal. Okay. Averin, Faust, Averin, Nuva. Oh, Winsa. That was one of them. So, again, another Nine Star Garuda and a Six Star Inosuke. I would have thought it would be higher, but maybe they haven't done their runs yet. Maybe this is what they have now and they had done a run earlier. I'm not sure. But basically, yeah, it seems like that Nine Star Garuda, I guess, is maybe what you need to. Clear easy? That sounds too hard. Maybe I'm maybe I'm saying. Maybe that's what you need to. And you can use like a seven star or eight star to, to clear easy. And then to get actually like higher up to normal 50 and stuff, you start needing the nine star. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this account. It's just fun to see how the game looks at the earliest stages right now. Kind of trying to compare that to my memories of what it was like three years ago. Also, you know, anybody that's in the guild that I can help out in any way with some of this content or any extremely new players, if you're enjoying this, make sure to let me know. Uh, but that's what's going on on server 926 right now. I just want to post this update. Was very curious about Aspen Dungeon. Uh, we will definitely have to go for normal next time. See if we can maybe get our Garuda up to seven stars somehow with the anniversary event or something. Maybe not the next time. Maybe it'll be too tough. But we'll start at 50, but I don't think that will matter. We'll have to use our energy smart um, for sure. And I bet we can't get there. I bet it's too hard. But that's all I have in this video. I will see you all later. Bye.